Okay, I have with me here this visual journal that I made by doing painting and drawing and scribbling and gel plate printing on a bunch of papers and then bound them into a journal. Uh, then I've gone over some of the pages and painted more on them. So you've seen this in a previous post. So now I'm going to take uh, the deli papers that I printed with the gel plate and um, I'm going to just add a few collage pieces. So first I want to find a page spread that I want to work on. So how about that? That's a pretty nicely um, coordinated page spread, unlike this, for example, where these are quite different. Anyhow, so these also kind of are in the same color range as the as the deli pages that I deli papers that I printed. So I'm just going to take. A little piece of this deli paper and start by placing it somewhere on this page. So my usual collage technique is to apply matte medium, place the collage piece, and then smooth it out applying a little more matte medium. Now that seems to be smoothing out on its own, so I'm not going to squeegee it with the credit card as I often do. I will wipe up excess matte medium though. With the deli paper, it has this serrated edge. I'd like to get rid of that just because it looks kind of accidental. It doesn't um, appear to be an intentional aspect of the paper, and it's not, so I'm getting rid of it. Transparency of the deli paper allows you to see some of the image or colors beneath it when you're using it for collage. And then I'll let that dry. So now the deli paper collage is dry, and I was going to paint on this page spread, and I might, but somehow the this grid format that this is setting up is uh, inspiring me to do more collage with some squares. Now these are pieces from another uh, another jelly print, so I'm going to just put those on and see what happens.